Good morning everyone, this is Hokarine 100 and this morning I will be talking about Oakwood Dog Rescue. Oakwood Dog Rescue are a rescue shelter for dogs who are in need. Dogs who have been abandoned, dogs who have been, you know, street dogs where they've been homeless and had to fight for their food. Dogs who have been neglected and dogs who have been abused. All dogs from all different types of backgrounds. And most of them need a loving and caring home. Recently I read a tweet. I will come to that tweet in a second. Recently I read a tweet and there was a dog in need who really badly needed a home. And the dog had been on the waiting list for so long and never had one person come and visit them which I thought was really sad I'll show you so here is the tweet I was talking about so it says still no applications for me despite the awkward humans doing lots of posts and then the broken heart emoji and it says I think I need a day out to get some new shots like these famous insta doggies do but where should I go? And then it says it's from Alison. So Alison is a gorgeous dog who has not been adopted yet. And they have stated that she's very friendly. You know, she gets very nervous at first, but she warms up to you with like treats and toys and things like most dogs do. You know, she's just got some, you know, confidence issues. Like, that's to be expected, you know, with certain dogs that have been out on the streets or abused and neglected and whatnot. And, you know, she really does need a home. And this is why I'm doing this YouTube video today, because I really, really want someone to adopt her. A lot of the dogs at Oakwood Rescue need good homes and the last thing we all want is for these adorable sweet dogs to end up being euthanized that has happened so many times and it's mostly because of people you know who are breeding and people you know being irresponsible and um, people who are trying to get profit out of animals i'm a big an animal lover you know, I support animals and animal rights. I'm an animals rights activist. I've been to a few protests in the past. I did try to once um, give up meat, but then I realised, you know, it is a silly fad thing that people do. I mean, no judgment towards anyone else who's vegan or vegetarian. I'm not going to get into all that political rubbish, but anyway, you know, I do the the whole point is that I do my best to you know support animals any way that I can you know I use products that are not being tested on animals you know I always check to make sure that it has the the bunny logo because that means you know it's not being tested on any animals and then I also you know speak up and report it whenever I see any form of animal abuse and then I also donate every now and again to the RSPCA. The RSPCA are, are the UK's version of animal protection, etc. I know that in the United States they have um, PETA, but I've heard a lot of bad things about PETA. Again, not going to go into all that political stuff. The main point here is we're here to support Oakwood Dog Rescue. Oakwood Dog Rescue have their own Twitter account and they have their own website which I'm going to show you again and here it is again the Oakwood Dog Rescue website you know it they have such pretty good pretty good dogs you know well behaved because they do like obedience and stuff uh, where is it here it is six six weeks free obedience training they can train your dogs to be well behaved. And then they have free 
um, rehoming advice packs. So they can like help people out with any adoption issues. And then they give you any lifetime support. And here is some success stories. So here's a woman here who adopted um, a dog. They said, we adopted Fat Max. <laughs> I guess he was a bit chubby. <laughs> Max had been at Oakwood for just over a year and always seemed to be overlooked, which could not, which we could not understand why, as he is such an amazing dog with so much love to give. The staff at Oakwood were very helpful for the adoption process as we were out of area also the knowledge they have about dogs and the support on offer during the process is excellent it was also clear from the visits we did how much they care i think they were trying to say there that it is also clear from the visitors, how much they care for the dogs, you know, I think they just had a little bit of a spelling error there, so there's a lot of success stories, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of success stories here, and there's many other different things, they have a dog hub, which I'm gonna talk about now, they, Right here it says the dog hub at Oakwood Dog Rescue is an out is an I was about to say outdoor is an indoor dog park where your dog can have a structured dog socialization sessions in a fun educational environment. All profits go back to Dogwood Dog the Oakwood Rescue. <laughs> I can't even talk. Um so yeah they have a lot of amazing things there's the opening times it says all the details on here and look here they have such really sweet cute dogs i mean look at this one this one vera doesn't she look adorable look at them they look sweet they look harmless honestly i can never understand why anyone could bring themselves to hurt an animal you know a lot of them need homes and some of, I know it says here that some of them, you know, a lot of them say can't get along with other dogs, can't get along with other, with other animals, but some of them do accept young children, some of them do accept other dogs and cats, you know. It, it just ha has to be certain ones. So if you just keep searching, you will find one eventually that gets along with kids and cats or other dogs. You know, it just depends on their behave, their temperament and their behavioural um, aspect. So yeah, please do check out Oakwood Dog Rescue and please adopt a dog today if you can. You know, it doesn't have to be UK residents. It can be worldwide residents, you know. They can work something out. Yeah, you know, they, they, they go out and rescue dogs in other countries. So I'm pretty sure they can make arrangements for someone outside of the UK to adopt a dog. So if you're in the United States or Australia or... Or somewhere in Europe you know wherever you are they can work something out you know they're willing to do what they can to give these dogs a loving home and they work very hard to look after them so please 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 you know do what you can to help them and they also do things as well where if anyone wants to stop by and volunteer you know work at the rescue shelter, you know, play with the dogs, feed them, take them out for walks, you know, you can do that too. They're not doing any visiting at the moment because of the COVID situation, but you can do online applications and, you know, they, they're doing online applications at the moment in regards to adoptions as well, because like I said, there's the pandemic issue, but, you know, they're doing everything they can to make sure these dogs are well looked after and I'd be so happy guys if you can make a contribution and donate if you can if you have a few pennies you know it doesn't matter 
how much you donate to them, you know, if it's just a pound a, a month or, or a five for every now and again, you know what, it doesn't matter as long as you contribute in a way, I'd be very happy with that. And so would Oakwood Dog Rescue, they're good people. So thank you guys for checking this video out and I will be sharing a message in my videos from now on to show my support for them to show my support for Oakwood Dog Rescue so that's to be expected and thank you again for watching this video have a good morning